Good morning, everybody. This weekend, that heat built off to the south and west of us. High temperatures soaring to the triple digits into Dodge City. Well, here across the Great Lakes, we stayed in that rain cooled air, didn't we? Temperatures ranging from the upper 60s to the mid 70s yesterday. Green Bay, we took the highest temperature of 76, but that is still below our average high by just a few degrees. We should be flirting with 80 degrees for our average high this time of year. Now, of course, this morning, we're waking up to those mid 60s, a few upper 50s into the north woods. As you can see that the UP is sitting on the cooler side of things. So as you head out the door this morning, it is comfortable out there and we're going to stay that way throughout our afternoon. Just a little bit of stickiness when you talk about that humidity and that's hanging out around the lake shore and into Fond du Lac County. Now we're also seeing something hanging out and it's hanging out on the ground in the form of fog. Look at that visibility down to just three quarters of a mile into Ansego and a quarter of a mile into Watoma. Some of that could start to creep into the Fox Valley as we go through the next two hours. The reason why it hasn't so far is because we have clouds right now over Green Bay into Kiwani and down through Sheboygan where there's clear skies is where that fog is really allowed to build and you can see it doing so throughout central and northwestern Wisconsin all the way into Minnesota as well. So this high pressure is the reason, but it's also going to give us sunshine later today. We could see a small sprinkle chance this afternoon as these two low pressures are building off to the west of us. And that's going to bring storm chances over there. We could hear a rumble of thunder into the north woods of uh, Antigo area, potentially even to Stevens Point, but everything wants to die out as it does so. So here we are this afternoon. As you can stays, see, it stays off to the northwest while the rest of the Fox Valley and Lakeshore, we stay bright, beautiful and sunny. We're going to have some nice temperatures into those mid to upper 70s. But then, of course, this evening, there's a few showers that could make their way into the Northwoods. But no big deal, no severe weather. High pressure holds off all of the weather, disintegrates one right over Duluth, Minnesota, as another one tries to build and head our way as well. So tomorrow, we're not in any risk for thunderstorms. That stays off into the Duluth area, Minneapolis, and Minnesota. But you can see that those fire up once again throughout Tuesday. They are going to surge chances of a spotty sprinkle for us on Wednesday afternoon, but overall look at tomorrow. It's even brighter, prettier, crisp winds still out of the northeast. And then as we go into Wednesday, there's that rain chance and it's very, very little. We're not looking at any downpours or anything like that. So overcast and cloudy this, this morning. Sun rises at 555. It is 59 degrees right now into Appleton. We're going to start to see that first light pretty soon this morning and we'll rise nice and comfortable to those mid to upper 70s, partly sunny skies and partly cloudy tonight into those mid to upper 50s we go and we'll warm things up by a few more degrees tomorrow upper 70s to low 80s more and more sunshine out there but still that comfortable breeze less humidity we are going to hit those 80s once again as we cruise into wednesday and towards the rest of this weekend but this weekend we have chances for showers and storms and those start from thursday night through friday evening and throughout the weekend again so another washout weekend potentially but We'll keep an eye on that for you. So we better enjoy Monday through Friday because those weekends between this past weekend and next weekend, not looking the best. I agree. They're timing out in the wrong times. Absolutely. <laughs> Too bad. Brittany, thank you so much. And